Welcome to the amazing world of your body. Today, we're going on a fun journey to explore all the incredible parts that make you you. From your head to your toes, hair to nails, even inside and out. We'll learn cool facts, like how your heart keeps you going, why your skin is so important, and what makes your brain super smart. Plus, we'll share easy tips to keep every body part healthy, how to stay strong with simple exercises, and the best ways to avoid common health problems. So ready? Let's dive in and discover the magic of the human body together. This video will boost your knowledge, vocabulary, thinking and reading skills with cool facts and why, how type of questions. Check the description box below for quizzes and can attempt again and again. Kids Zone Channel Hair protects the scalp from sun and keeps us warm. Each strand grows for two to seven years before falling out. Hair is made of keratin, the same protein as your nails. face has 43 muscles, helping us smile, frown, and make 10,000 expressions. It's our identity. We recognize faces instantly, which is why faces are so memorable. Forehead protects the frontal lobe of your brain responsible for thinking and planning. Did you know, it asks one of the first parts of your face to show emotions and aging. Eyebrows shield eyes from sweat and rain. They also express feelings like surprise. People can recognize emotions just by looking at eyebrows. Eyelashes. Eyelashes keep dust and dirt out of your eyes. They grow to a specific length and then stop. Fun fact, your upper lashes have about 200 lashes, while the lower lids have around 100. Your eyes can distinguish 10 million colors. They focus quicker than any camera, the only part of the body that doesn't grow after birth. Do you know? Why do we get goosebumps? How many bones are in the human body? Why do we blink? Why do we yawn when we're tired? How does our brain remember things? Please note, answer key is given at the end of this video, and links for quizzes are given in the description box below. Eyelid. Eyelids keep eyes moist and safe. You blink 15 to 20 times a minute. You spend about 10% of your waking hours with your eyes closed due to blinking. Ears. Ears capture sound waves and help with balance. Tiny bones inside amplify sound. Your ears never stop growing, even as you get older.
nose. Your nose can smell over 1 trillion scents. It also filters and warms the air before it reaches your lungs. No two noses are the same, like fingerprints. Mouth. The mouth chews food, speaks, and even helps us smile. Do you know, why do we sneeze? Why do we dream? How do our eyes see colors? Why do we get hiccups? Why do our ears pop? Lips lips help you eat, talk, and express emotions. Fun fact, lips don't de sweat because they have no sweat glands. They ray also more sensitive than most body parts. Teeth chew food and help shape your smile. Did you know? Humans have 30 to teeth, and the enamel is the hardest substance in your body. Your tongue is the only muscle that works without support from a bone. It is also covered in taste buds. Cheeks help us chew and show emotions. The dimples in your cheeks are caused by shorter muscles. To keep cheeks glowing, eat fruits rich in vitamin C and stay hydrated for smooth skin. Chin helps with jaw movement and supports facial expressions. Humans are the only species with a distinct chin. To prevent double chins, maintain good posture and do chin exercises. Neck The neck supports the head and houses vital structures like the windpipe. Despite its length, a giraffe's neck has the same number of bones as ours. Stretch often to keep your neck flexible. Trunk The trunk protects vital organs and helps us stand upright. Your core muscles stabilize your whole body. Strengthen your core with planks and keep good posture to avoid back pain. Your shoulders allow a wide range of motion. They're the most flexible joints in the body. Strengthen shoulder muscles with resistance exercises and avoid slouching to prevent shoulder strain. Do you know, why do we grow taller? Why does our heart beat faster when we run? Why do we have fingerprints? Why do we have two lungs? Why do our stomachs growl when we're hungry? Please note, answer key is given at the end of this video, and links for quizzes are given in the description box below. Arms Arms help us lift, carry, and reach. Your dominant arm is usually stronger. Include push-ups and curls in your routine to build arm strength and improve daily function. Upper arm The upper arm includes the biceps and triceps, key for lifting. The biceps aren't the strongest muscles, but they sure look impressive. Strengthen with weights or resistance bands. The 
The elbow acts as a hinge, allowing your arm to bend. The funny bone isn't a bone, it's a nerve. Keep your elbows healthy by stretching regularly and avoiding overuse. Forearm The forearm controls hand and wrist movements. The radius and ulna bones work together for twisting motions. Strengthen forearms with grip exercises like squeezing a stress ball. Wrist The wrist allows flexible hand movements. There are eight tiny bones in the wrist. Avoid wrist strain by taking breaks from typing and stretching your wrists often. Hand your hand helps you pick things up, wave, and even draw. You have 27 bones in each hand. Play games like catch or build with blocks to strengthen your hands. Fingers help you hold things, right? and play games. Your fingerprints are unique, like a personal ID. Try finger painting or making shadow puppets to have fun with your fingers. Your thumb lets you grip things, like toys and spoons. It's the only finger that can touch all the others. Practice picking things up using just your thumb and another finger. Index finger Your index finger is for pointing and pressing buttons. It's also called the pointer finger. Play a game where you point to objects and name them it's great for learning. Middle finger The middle finger is the longest and strongest finger. It helps with balance when you grab or hold something. Try balancing a ball on your middle finger. Ring finger The ring finger is often where people wear rings. It's not as strong because it shares muscles with the little finger. Wiggle your ring finger and see how hard it is to move on its own. Little finger The little finger, or pinky, helps grip things tightly. It adds 50% of your hand's strength. Try holding a cup with and without your pinky to see the difference. Palm helps you hold and lift things. It doesn't have any hair, but it has lots of nerve endings, making it very sensitive. Try feeling different textures with your palm. Fist is when you close your hand tight. Fists are used for punching in martial arts, but also for fist box. Great for high fives. Practice making a fist and squeezing it gently. The chest protects your heart and lungs. The rib cage moves when you breathe in and out. Take a deep breath and feel your chest rise and fall, like inflating a balloon. Why do we have different blood types? Why do we feel pain? Why do we have eyelashes? Why do our teeth fall out when we're kids? Why do we cry when we're sad? your abdomen holds your stomach, intestines, and other organs. Your core muscles help you stand tall. Try sit-ups or planks to make your tummy strong like a superhero's. Belly The belly helps digest food and protects important organs. Your belly button is where you are connected to your mom. Keep your belly healthy by eating fruits and veggies and drinking lots of water. Your back supports your body and helps you stand straight. The spine has 33 small bones. 
stretch and sit up straight like a soldier to keep your back strong and healthy. Hips let your legs move in all directions. The hip bone is one of the strongest in your body. Legs help you walk, run, and jump. The femur, or thigh bone, is the longest bone in your body. Your thigh muscles help you lift, kick, and run. Thighs contain the largest muscles in your body. The knee is a hinge that helps your leg bend and straighten. Your kneecap floats on the front of your knee. The shin is the front part of your lower leg. It's very sensitive because it doesn't have much padding. Why do we get tired? How does our skin heal when we get a cut? Why do we get a fever when we're sick? Why do we have eyebrows? Why does our hair turn grey as we get older? Calf the calf is at the back of your lower leg and helps you stand on tiptoes. Calf muscles help pump blood back to your heart. Try calf raises to make these muscles strong. Feet. Feet help you walk, run, and balance. Fun fact, there are 26 bones in each foot. Jumping, running, and skipping are fun ways to exercise your feet and keep them strong. Ankle the ankle lets your foot move up, down, and sideways. The ankle supports your entire body weight. Try balancing on one foot to make your ankle stronger and more flexible. Why do we have taste buds? Why do we get wrinkles as we age? Why do we have a brain? Why do we get thirsty? Why do our ears help us balance? Flexible. Toes toes help you balance and walk. You push off your toes every time you take a step. Wiggle your toes and walk barefoot on grass for some fun exercise. Nails protect your fingertips and toes. Fingernails grow faster than toenails. Keep them clean and trimmed to avoid germs and make them look neat. Bones function, provide structure, protect organs, and support movement. Muscles function, help you move, lift, and support your body. Body weight ideal weight, varies based on height, age, and gender. Fun fact, muscle weighs more than fat but takes up less space. Body growth dash. Most growth happens during puberty. Health tips, eat balanced meals with enough calcium for bones and protein for muscle growth. Why do we sweat when we're hot? How does food turn into energy? Why do we shiver when we're cold? Why do we get dizzy when we spin around? Why do we have a belly button? Skin function, protects your body from the environment and helps regulate temperature. Brain function, controls everything in your body, thoughts, movements, emotions. Memory function, helps store and recall information. Fun fact, the brain can store an estimated 2.5 petabytes of data. Spinal cord function, sends messages between your brain and the rest of your body. Arteries carry blood from the heart to the rest of the body. Veins, veins push blood back to your heart. Why do we laugh? How do we smell things? Why do we itch? Why does our hair grow? Why do we have a skeleton? The esophagus can move food even if you're upside down. Your stomach can stretch to hold about a liter of food. It breaks down your food into tiny pieces so your body can absorb nutrients. Pancreas helps digest food and regulates blood sugar with insulin. Spleen function acts like a filter for your blood, removing old red blood cells and fighting infection. 
your spleen can increase in size when fighting infections. Pituitary gland, the thmaster gland. Function, controls other glands and influences growth, metabolism, and reproduction. It's only about the size of a pea. Important glands thyroid gland, metabolism manager. Function, controls metabolism, heart rate, and body temperature. Fun fact, the thyroid is shaped like a butterfly. Important glands adrenal glands, stress fighters. Function, produce hormones like adrenaline, which help your body respond to stress. Fun fact, these glands sit right on top of your kidneys. Intestines function, absorb nutrients from food and remove waste from your body. Healthy tips, eat fiber-rich foods. Whole grains, veggies, fruits. Heart function, pumps blood through your body, common issues, high blood pressure, heart disease. Your heart beats about 100,000 times a day. Good health definition, a balance of physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Good health boosts happiness and energy levels. Tips, eat well, stay active, sleep 7 to 8 hours per night. Physique the shape and size of your body. Regular exercise shapes your body in unique ways. Flexibility the ability to move your body freely. Yoga and stretching can improve flexibility. Strength the ability of muscles to exert force. You don't have to lift heavy weights body weight exercises build strength too. Lungs bring in oxygen and remove carbon dioxide from your body. Kidneys. Filter waste and excess water from your blood to create urine. Bladder stores urine until it's ready to be released. Sensory organs 1. Eyesight, detect light and color, allowing us to see. 2. Ears hearing, pick up sound vibrations. 3. Skin touch, detects pressure, temperature, and pain. 4. Tongue taste, recognizes sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and umami flavors. 5. Nose smell, detects thousands of different scents. Reproductive organs Male reproductive organs Female reproductive organs Maintain a healthy weight and balanced diet for hormonal balance. Why do our nails grow? Why do we need to sleep? Why does our heart never get tired? Why can't we tickle ourselves? Why do we get freckles? Liver filters toxins from your blood and helps digest food. Growth from child to death childhood, 0 to 12 years, rapid physical and brain development, with bones and muscles growing fast. Babies have more bones than adults, 270. Some fuse together as they grow. Teenage years, 13 to 19 years, growth spurts, hormonal changes, and puberty. Teenagers' brains are still developing, especially the part responsible for decision-making. Adulthood, 20 to 50 years, slower growth, but focus on maintaining muscle and bone strength. The human brain reaches its full size by age 25, but we keep learning and developing new skills. Old age, 50 plus years, the body begins to slow down, muscles and bones weaken. Memory can improve with activities like puzzles and reading. Why do we sneeze? We sneeze to clear out dust, pollen, or germs from our nose. It's like your body's way of hitting the reset button for clean air. Why do we dream? Dreams are like stories our brain tells while we sleep. It helps us process thoughts, feelings, and memories, kind of like a movie in your head. How do our eyes see colors? Our eyes have special cells, called cones, that help us see colors. 
These cones sent red, green, and blue light, and together, they let us see all the colors of the rainbow. Why do we get hiccups? Hiccups happen when your diaphragm, a muscle under your lungs, gets irritated and jerks suddenly. It's like a little muscle spasm that makes you hic. Why do our ears pop? Your ears pop when the air pressure changes around you, like in an airplane. The popping helps balance the pressure inside and outside your ear, so you can hear clearly again. Why do we grow taller because hormones make our bones and muscles grow? Why does our heart beat faster when we run because it speeds up to pump more oxygen to muscles? Why do we have fingerprints because help grip things better? Why do we have two lungs because they work together to bring oxygen into the body? Why do our stomachs growl when we're hungry because your stomach muscles move when you're hungry? Why do we have different blood types? Different blood types protect us by matching with our immune system. They evolve to handle different environments and diseases, like a built-in body ID system. Why do we feel pain? Pain is our body's alarm system. It alerts us to injury or danger, helping us avoid harm and heal faster. Why do we have eyelashes? Eyelashes protect our eyes from dust and small particles, acting as tiny shields to keep our vision clear. Why do our teeth fall out when we're kids? Baby teeth make space for bigger, stronger adult teeth, which we need as we grow for eating tougher foods. Why do we cry when we're sad? Crying releases stress and signals to others that we need comfort, acting as a physical and emotional release. Why do we get tired? We get tired because our body and brain need rest to recharge, repair cells, and process information, like refueling a car. How does our skin heal when we get a cut? Your skin repairs itself by sending special cells to close the wound, rebuild tissue, and form a scab, acting like nature's band-aid. Why do we get a fever when we're sick? A fever is your body's way of fighting off infections. It heats up to make it harder for germs to survive. Why do we have eyebrows? Eyebrows keep sweat and rain out of our eyes and help us express emotions like surprise or confusion. Why does our hair turn gray as we get older? Hair turns gray because the pigment-producing cells slow down, leading to less color, like a pencil running out of lead. Why do we burp? Burping releases extra air trapped in your stomach, usually from swallowing while eating or drinking. Why do our muscles get sore after exercise? Exercise creates tiny tears in muscles, and they get sore as they repair and grow stronger. Why does our voice sound different when we hear it recorded? We hear our voice through our skull and ears, but recordings are only through the air, making it sound unfamiliar. How do our lungs help us breathe? Lungs pull in oxygen and remove carbon dioxide, giving energy to every part of your body. Why do we see stars when we rub our eyes? Rubbing eyes presses on the optic nerve, tricking your brain into seeing flashes of light, stars. Why do our nails grow? Nails protect fingertips and grow as new cells push old ones out. Why do we need to sleep? Sleep helps our body and brain recharge, repair, and process information. Why does our heart never get tired? The heart is made of strong muscles that keep working to pump blood without needing rest. Why can't we tickle ourselves? Your brain knows it's coming and ignores the tickle sensation. Why do we get freckles? Freckles are small spots caused by sun exposure and your genes. Why do we laugh? Laughter is our body's response to something funny, releasing happy chemicals. How do we smell things? Your nose picks up scent particles, and your brain translates them into smells. Why do we itch? Itching is your body's way of signaling that something's irritating your skin. Why does our hair grow? Hair grows as cells at the root push out older cells, creating strands. Why do we have a skeleton? Our skeleton supports our body, 
helps us move, and protects vital organs. Why do we have taste buds? Taste buds let us sense sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and umami flavors. Why do we get wrinkles as we age? As we age, our skin loses elasticity, causing wrinkles to form. Why do we have a brain? The brain controls everything we do, thinking, moving, feeling, it's the body's command center. Why do we get thirsty? Thirst is your body's signal that you need water to stay hydrated. Why do our ears help us balance? The inner ear has fluid that helps your brain know if you're standing, sitting, or moving. How does the esophagus work when we eat or drink? The esophagus squeezes food down to the stomach using muscles, and a flap called the epiglottis prevents choking. How do glands affect our daily life? Glands release hormones that control growth, mood, energy, and more. If one stops, balance is disrupted. Why do humans grow fast as kids and then slow down? Growth hormones are strongest in childhood but slow down as we reach adulthood, focusing on maintaining instead of growing. Kids Tone Channel